Hmm. Well, that meeting went well. Let's start putting these things into action. Okay, so for inventory for the guys, let's see, we could, let's see, inventory worksheet. Let's see, we're going to want employee and date, item number, how many they used, and what they produced when they did it. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. Now the boys will be able to record their inventory usage and we can always remain aware of our stock. Now, Lexi's training. Tina Gladly, manager's office, please. Tina Gladly, manager's office. Oh, hey, Tito, you hear that, man? Yeah, boss man works pretty quick, man. Oh, man, why do you think he want Tina, though? Man, your boy got them ideas. Man. Hey, Tina, what's going on? Hey, boys. Hey, Tina, you gonna keep it cool, right? You gonna keep it all together? Oh, Mario, Derek's probably just wanting to discuss the changes that we had in the meeting. Hey, man. It'll be fine. Hey, Tito, you hear this, man? Hey, <laughs> keep it easy, man. Right? Boss man's on our side. Remember? Hey, did I miss anything? No, nah, fam. He girl just went in and he gonna poke her head like he on Facebook. No, I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Oh, well, should we be worried? He seemed concerned about my training. Man, you never know what they talking about up in there. I got your back, though. So, what did you think of the meeting, Tina? It went great. I didn't know Lexi was so uninformed about the chip, though. Yeah, that's exactly why I need your help. We need to schedule a day where you can work one-on-one -on -one with Lexi and bring her up to speed on that chip. All right, is that all? Unfortunately not. And there's another issue that we've got here. Oh, no! Well, you know our recurring order with iOS, right? Oh, yes, Mr. Wyman. He's our top distributor of the PC3 chip. Yes, that's correct. And I was going through the billing on that order, and I found out that... We're actually not gaining much profit from it. We're only gaining $5 per each chip profit. Oh, no way! Yeah, I'm afraid so. So I'm flirting with the idea of raising the price. I wanted to reach out to an old friend of mine who's an expert in that field, though, so that we can get a bead on the competitor prices. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. So, shall I leave you to it? Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to actually have you here during the conversation so that you can weigh in on the technical strengths that this chip has and compare it against the competition. Okay, so who will I be calling? Alfred Reedsworth. He's an old friend of mine who deals with consumer reports, specializing in networking chips. Alfred, it's Derek White. How are you? Aha! There he is, Derek. Blast from the past, Derek White. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. And yourself? Oh, I'm doing good. I heard that you got promoted at next. Well, that's exactly why I'm calling you. Uh, you're still working on network chips, right? I sure am. What can I do you? Well, you're familiar with our TC3 chip, right? Mm-hmm. TC3. It's got some kick to it. Uh, the bus said it's uh, in line with the semi soft for every six. Well, I was wondering if you could actually give me some feel on the uh, going rate of the comparative chips. I'm flirting with the idea of increasing our list price, but I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. I've got the uh, chips creator here, Tina, and she's on the line with us, and uh, she'll be able to let us know where we stand on the technical side of things. Mm -hmm. Hi! Oh, hey there, Tina. Well, Derek... I uh, I know for a fact that the Ravi 6 retails at $57, and that's the only one that shares the peripheral class with your TC3. Yep, that sounds about right. Only, you see, they use wires. We actually leverage Bluetooth and give them the ability to upgrade their physical memory. Uh-huh. You know, I did a side-by-side -side comparison of them not too long ago, and more consumers are leaning towards wireless feeds, although there are some old-schoolers that prefer the wires. Okay, so our main competitor 
is retailing at fifty-seven dollars. Absolutely correct, there, Derek. But uh, I'll tell you what, though, the Cinesoft is more for the baby boomer. Okay, cool, good. Well, hey, thanks, Al. I'm sorry I got to cut you off there. It was great catching up with you, and thank you very much for that insight. Hey, any time there, Derek. Let me know when you're the CEO, all right? <laughs> all right. Catch you later. Bye. All right. Well, that helps us out tremendously. Definitely got to bring that up in our board meeting tomorrow. All right, Tina, thank you very much for your help. You're good to go. Hey, I'm just glad I could be of service. All right. Hey, tell Lexi that she's with you tomorrow, okay? Sure thing, boss. Oh, and you guys are still here? Well, Tina, we were just so concerned. That was such a long meeting. Is everything okay? Hey, we gotta get our desks moved? Because I know there were some big changes made up in there. Yeah, Tina, tell us. We could take it. We could take it. Oh, it's nothing, guys. Stop worrying so much. Derek's a great boss. Lexi, come with me, please. Okay. Hey. I'm coming. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be working together. And then we're going to... Whoa, that was a close one, my dude. Oh, man, you telling me? <laughs> Your boy was shook up for a hot minute, and I'm talking about... Oh, man, look at the clock, man. It's closing time. Let's get it going, fam. <laughs> Those guys. Oh, what a day. I guess I better get ready for tomorrow's board meeting. <laughs>